in the Hi guys, welcome back to 55th part of the Arduino tutorials. In our previous videos, we have already worked on the solenoid lock and fingerprint sensor module. So using both of these concepts, in this video we'll be making fingerprint based door lock system project. Make sure you watch the complete video till the end. The components required for this project are Arduino board R307 fingerprint sensor module twelve volts solenoid lock five volts single channel relay module I am using this eleven point one volts lipo battery as a supply for the solenoid lock 16 cross 2 LCD with I2C interface 2 LED bulbs of different colors breadboard and jumper wires for easy connections and a power supply for the Arduino board I am using 2 lithium ion cells with a round pin connector I purchased all these project components from flyrobo.in. They have very huge collection of components and the prices are also reasonable compared to other platforms. Along with Arduino components, there are also other categories. So this single platform will help you to get all the required materials for your projects. Make sure you explore their products. I'll leave the link in the description box. Moving on to the connections, first I'll take the 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. Since we need it for all the components. On the fingerprint sensor, we can see the pin numbers from 1 to 6. So this first pin is VCC, pin 2 is ground, pin 3 is TX and pin 4 is RX. We just need these 4 pins. 5th and 6th pin can be kept unconnected. The VCC and ground of the sensor goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. 3rd pin or the TX goes to digital pin 2. 4th pin or the RX goes to digital pin 3. From the LCD module, VCC and ground goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard, SDA pin to analog pin A4, SCL to analog pin A5. For the LEDs, the negative terminal of both goes to common ground. The positive terminals of first LED goes to digital pin 8 and the second one to digital pin 9. In the relay module, the VCC and ground goes to common 5 volts and ground on the breadboard. Input control pin goes to Arduino digital pin 7. From the solenoid lock, the negative terminal directly goes to the battery supply negative or B minus. The positive terminal goes to the common terminal of the relay module and the NO terminal goes to battery supply positive. That's all the connections. You can get the reference circuit link from the description box. Now I'll arrange all these components on this wooden board. And this is how it looks.
I'll connect the Arduino board to the computer and we'll start with the coding part. Before we move on to the actual project code, there are two prerequisites which you should complete. First one is library installation. For this project, you need Liquid Crystal I2C LCD library and Adafruit fingerprint library. I'll provide both the library zip files in the description. After downloading, go to Sketch, Include library, Add zip library, and select the downloaded file. So just repeat the same for other one as well. The second requirement is to enroll or store the fingerprints in the sensor. For this, you have to upload the enroll code and submit your fingerprints. The complete steps to enroll fingerprints is shown in my previous part 54 tutorial. Make sure you complete those steps and then come back here. At the top, I have included the libraries for LCD, fingerprint and I2C communication. And here, objects are created using respective class. These are the definitions for the pins we have used and also I have defined axis delay with a value of 6000 millisecond. This is the duration up to which we want to keep the solenoid in the unlock state after successful fingerprint match. For better understanding, I will show this practically later. In the setup function, we have LCD init functions and the default states of relay and LEDs. Coming to the loop, here we have to call this get fingerprint function which is available from the Adafruit fingerprint library. According to this function, if there is a successful fingerprint match, we get a non-zero value which is basically the ID of the fingerprint if there are wrong fingerprints, then this function will return the minus one. So simply we have to check the return value of this function, which is done in the loop. I'm using simple if statement. If the value is not equal to minus one, then it's a successful match. I'm turning on the relay or the solenoid activating the green LED and also displaying axis granted message on the LCD. To make it simple, I have defined separate functions for LCD print statements. Similarly, else if the value from the function is equal to minus one, which indicates fingerprints are not matching. Here I am keeping the solenoid in the lock state itself and turning on the red LED. Also access denied message is printed on the LCD module. This is how the code works. I will upload this code and we will see the results. After uploading the code, I will remove the USB from the computer. First, I will connect the 12 volts power supply for the solenoid lock. And to power up the Arduino board, I will connect the USB cable directly to the power bank. As soon as it switch on, we get welcome message. 
by default the door will be locked and on the LCD it shows place finger now I'll place the wrong finger for this the red LED turns on and on the LCD it gives access denied message and lock will remain in the same state when we keep the correct finger we get this blue LED the solenoid gets unlocked and we get access granted message after some time the solenoid goes back to the default lock state this duration I've kept 6 seconds in the code which you can modify according to your needs Instead of using power bank for the Arduino supply, I'll use onboard lithium ion cells and the round pin connector which makes it easier. So that's all on the fingerprint door lock project. I hope this video will be helpful. For code and circuit diagram, visit the link in the description box. For more interesting projects, subscribe and follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching. We'll be back in the next video.